Okay, so this is ACT skill number nine. And up above, if you read, um, if you read the definition, definitions up above, it goes over prime numbers. Um, and it does say, please circle this portion, that the number one is not considered prime. The number one is not considered <coughs> prime. A prime number is those whose, you can only achieve a number by multiplying one times itself. And that's going to be helpful when we do this first example for skill set number nine. For all real numbers x, how many values of x are odd multiple odd prime numbers less than 20? Okay, so I'm going to write all the numbers right now that are less than 20, integers that are less than 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So these are all less than 20. 20 is not less than 20, that's why I did not include it. It says it has to be an odd prime number. So now I'm going to cancel anything that's not odd. And of the remaining numbers, I'm going to circle if it is going to be a prime number. We just stated 1 is not prime. Is 3 prime? The only way to achieve 3 is 1 times 3. 5 is prime, 1 times 5. 7 is prime, 1 times 7. 9 is not prime because it also includes 3 times 3. 11 is prime, 13 is prime, 15 is not because you have 3 times 5, 17 is prime, and 19 is prime as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct answer is D. Flip over. Number 1 seems to be an easily missed problem. Number 1 seems to be easily missed. So remember when you're solving, this states you're going to have two answers. So first divide both sides by 2 to get x squared equals 25. Two answers. To eliminate the square, we square root both sides. To get two answers, it's plus or minus the square of 25 is 5. So we need both positive and negative 5. Correct answer is D. In the previous hour, it seems like we had several people, um, when they're rushing through the problems, put B as an answer. Number 2. If the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 33, then what is the value of the largest of the three integers? So let's say x represents an odd integer. Like, let's just say x is 21. So to get to 23, what do you have to do from 21? Add two. Add two. And again, x is 21. So here's 21. Now here is 23. Now I want to get to 25. If x is 21 and you want to get to 25, what do you have to add? Four. So three consecutive odd integers, the sum is 33. Okay, basic math now to solve. x, x, x is 3x. 2 and 4 is 6 equals 33. Subtract 6 from both sides. Divide by 3 and x equals 9. So this is 9, this is 11, and this is 13. What is the largest of the three integers? It is 13. <coughs> How many on your own without guessing got number two right? Probably not too many. How many were able to understand this explanation? Anybody? Okay. Let's go down here. So I personally am just going to do like guess a check with this one. This may be a great example. If you guys have an easier way to do this, you can share with me a little bit. Two consecutive prime numbers have a sum of 42. What is the larger of the two numbers? I'm just going to do a guess and check. So I'm going to do with primes. So let's start with um, 11. The next prime number is 13. Do they add up to 42? No. Okay. Now I'm going to do 13. The next prime number is um, 15, 17. Do they add up to 42? No. Let's do 17. The next prime number is 19. It says consecutive. Okay. The 17 and 19. Let's try 19, the next K. Can't be 21, because 21 is not prime. 23, do they add up to 42? Yeah. Okay, so I found two that add up to 42. What is the larger of the two numbers? It is 23. Does anybody have an easier way to do number three they'd like to share? Okay, let's go on right now to number four. Two consecutive odd integers have a sum of negative 32. I'm going to do the same way that I did number two. 
So here's going to be the smaller of the two, and it needs to be odd, the next one, so it's not just plus one, it's plus two. Again, if this is three, now three plus two is five. So that's how we get two consecutive odd integers. Their sum is negative 32. So first I'm going to solve. X and X is 2X plus 2 equals negative 32. I'm going to subtract this 2 to the opposite side to cancel it. You achieve a negative 34. Divide both sides by 2 to get a negative 17. So this is one number, negative 17. And negative 17 and a positive 2 is a negative 15. Here are my two numbers. Now this specifically says which of the following which of the following is not a justified conclusion? So which one of these is false is what it's saying. All right, both numbers are negative, true or false? True. So which one of these is false? The lesser or the small, the smaller of the two numbers is negative 15. True or false? Is this the smaller of the two numbers? Which one is actually smaller? Negative 17. Number five is kind of tricky. Which of the following is a list of all positive integers between 40 and 46? So let's write down the numbers between 40 and 46. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Can't do 46, we're not going to do 40. Okay. That are not consecutive odd prime numbers. So first of all, let's do the opposite. I want to actually cross out the ones that are consecutive odd prime numbers. So is this prime and odd? Is this prime and odd, and is it consecutive? Yes. So it's prime, it's odd, and these are consecutive. What's remaining? 42, 44, 45. Done. 